Hey, what's up guys, Scamfief here, and welcome to this informed damage review. As you can see, we've got him up top of Adrian Ramos, but if you're going to put him up top of anyone, get him for my bam bam next to him. But anyway, if you haven't used damage's normal card, try it out, it's a pretty OP non rare card. Moving on to the inform, as you can see, I paid 30k for him. He's going to drop in price, and he probably will drop to this card. In all honesty, you may as well pick him up and give him a go. One thing I do want to say straight away is, ignore that record. He's a great striker, he's a fun striker, and I fully advise trying him out. Six games... 9 goals, that really didn't sum him up to be honest because he was very fun, got involved in a lot of attacks and his finishing for such a low rated in form was pretty damn good overall. As you can see going into some of the in game stats we've got 69 strength and his strength to be honest was decent but um, I did expect a bit more from him because honestly his card has got decent physical attributes but um, he did get pushed around quite a bit in game which was a bit frustrating but when you got him in the box he was good at finishing. Did have a tendency to hit that left post, I don't know why he kept hitting the left post but whatever but um, his finishing in general was really really good and another thing that did kind of annoy me was his positioning. He makes great runs, I have to point out, he does make some good runs but he was regularly making runs to wing, it was like he was playing in a wing position because he was always aiming his uh, runs towards the wing. But as you can see, for someone who's like only 80 pace, I say only 80 pace, a lot of us, we all know we like strikers above 83 pace. But um, anyway, he closes down really well and he's very quick to react to situations. Is that what, that's one of the things I like about him. He's quick to react. You press shoot, he will shoot pretty damn quickly. And as you can see, makes a good run here for Ramos, gets back inside, cuts in very nicely past Chiellini and finishes it very, very nicely around the goalkeeper. And in some games, he actually saved me. Good bit of dribbling here, this guy wasn't the best defender, but damage takes full advantage, and look at that smash. What a finish to be honest. Uh, four star weak foot, so he can finish with both feet, which is absolutely awesome. Really good ball control there, holds off Chiellini, keeps going, slides past the, the defender, and who is sliding, and uh, just keeps going, keeps going, and finishes very nicely off the feet of uh, Robert Green. Now this is in the last match. As you can see, the 89th minute damage actually saved me. He was the one who drew the penalty as well, which is pretty awesome. And then moments later, plays the ball through to Ramos. Good little one-two play. Ramos plays a great ball over the top of damage. A bit out wide, but um, I won't worry. Damage cuts back inside and bang. Look at that. Right foot, outside the foot shot, swerved into the back of net. And damage wins us the game uh, towards the end, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, the positive about this guy. It feels a lot quicker than his card suggests. I know I say that a lot, but damage really does feel pretty damn quick. Dribble in for such a low rated in form was awesome. The shot power and the finishing were great. As I said, once again, for such a low rated in form, they were pretty insane. And his positioning, I know I did mention about him making runs toward the wings, but he was always making good attacking runs and he was always in support of the striker, which is one of the things that I really liked. The negative for me was his strength on the ball. He did get knocked around a bit more than um, than I liked him. Honestly. He did get taken the ball from quite easily, so it was uh, fairly easily dispossessed. And his heading, I know he's not there for headers, but he was winning a lot of them, and he was just, he was just putting them wide, which was a bit frustrating. It's good that he's winning the headers, but he wasn't getting them on target, which was a bit annoying. But overall, for a lower in form, I'm going to give it inform damage an 8.5 out of 10. And for such a cheap player, 100% worth trying out. Give him a go, and let me know in the comments how we get on with him. Anyway, good leave likes video, that would very much appreciate. Comment below who'd like to see you next. Have a very good day. Adios.